The Eagle Bearer was one of the first assault rifles exotics introduced into the game and also till this day is one of the most desired exotic assault rifles in the game. So what's the reason behind it? Well, for starters, the gun was locked behind the raid, so the only way that you could have it before it was only by playing the raid and be able to loot it from the raid. Now recently, they did give us a chance to get it from the Dark Zone, so if you play Dark Zone enough, you do have a chance of having this weapon drop for you inside of the Dark Zone. Now the only caveat, well, you might have to fight rogues to get it extracted from the data zone. So either way, this is one of the most desired exotic assault rifles in the game and people are playing raid almost every day to try to get this weapon and also now people are playing also the data zone for a chance of having this weapon. So with all that said, I'm gonna show you guys a build that I have for this weapon. We're gonna take a look at it and see how good this weapon is. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, a like on this video would be super appreciated. Subscribe for more Division 2 content. And uh, yeah, let's get into this. So as I mentioned, this exotic assault rifle was one of the first exotic introduced into the game. And till this day, it holds up to be one of the coolest looking ones too. If you look at it, it has a very nice looking skin that is obviously, you know, exclusive to the Eagle Bearer. You can see that the weapon has a 51.7k per bullet on the magazine and the RPM actually the base RPM is 750 but because of the build that we currently have it on we have a 15% rate of fire increase that's gonna put it at 863. Now the magazine size of this weapon is actually very high is a 60 rounds on the magazine and currently before the next update uh, this weapon holds one of the highest rounds on the magazine on the assault rifle now the accuracy of this weapon is actually kind of okay and the p416 which is the base of this weapon it has a very bad accuracy never like that accuracy on that weapon but the eagle barrel has a little bit better of accuracy compared to p416 and the weapon itself has a talent that's gonna increase that accuracy as you should now currently on this build we have a 1.9 seconds of reload time and you've combined that with the 60 rounds on the magazine that's a very good way of having a good sustained DPS. So now let's move on for the what makes this weapon an exotic which is the talent and actually I would say talents in this weapon because currently I believe this is the only weapon that still has more than one talent the first one is called the eagle strike and the second one is called the tenacity so if we take a look at the eagle strike talent the accuracy increases as you continuously fire the weapon and you can go up to a 30 percent so the accuracy that we have right now can increase up to 30 percent more now still in the eagle strike headshot kills grants the tenacity buff for 15 seconds and then the strength of the tenacity is increased by one percent for body shots and five percent for headshots so that's why i said if you are using the eagle better you do want to go for headshot most of the time to take full advantage of the weapon talent so moving on for the second talent which is called the tenacity you activate it with the eagle strike and then the tenacity is the second talent so what it does basically is 40 to 80 percent of damage taken it's delayed until the buff expires all of the total delay damage is reduced for each enemy killed while the buff is active up to 100% with 3 kills so the tenacity talent is a very good talent if it works because it is very tricky to make it work even though it is sounding simple but I don't know it should reduce about 80% of the damage that you take and you can deny that damage after you get 3 kills kills but the thing is many times i don't feel this was exactly working like either that or that 80 percent it does not feel good at all because i feel like i was taking damage either way so i just don't rely on it to you know reduce my damage about 80 percent because 80 percent should be a lot of damage reduction right but still i take a lot of damage even with this silent active or not so what I recommend if you want to use this weapon because it's a good weapon on the base stats, a very good weapon, but I wouldn't recommend relying 
on that tenacity to keep you alive by reducing the damage that's all i would say so let's take a look at the mods that this weapon comes with it has a scope that gives us a 10 percent critical hit chance it has an under barrel that gives us a 10 percent weapon handling it has a muzzle that gives us a 15 percent critical hit damage and last but not least we have that extended magazine that gives us a plus 30 rounds now so moving on for the build this is the build that we're gonna be using for this eagle bearer i found this build to work quite good and you know it does have a quite a lot of damage now currently we have a 15 million dps on this build and uh, yeah you could make it higher if i go with more rats because as you can see i do have two blues core attribute in here which is gonna put us at 1.1 million armor so starting off with the gear set we have the striker gear set this is a gear set that if you equip two piece it gives you 15 percent weapon handling the third piece will give you 15 percent rate of fire and then the fourth piece you gain the striker's gamble so this silent basically what it does is it will increase your weapon damage as you hit your enemies by 0.65 percent per stack once you get to 100 stacks with this silent you gain a 65 percent weapon damage and also not to mention you will be losing stacks per second depending how many stacks that you have now we do not have a striker chest piece but we do have the backpack striker for these builds that's gonna give us another talent for striker so increase total weapon damage gained per stacks from 0.65 percent to one percent which means instead of at 100 percent getting 65 percent weapon damage instead we're gonna be getting a hundred percent weapon damage at 100 stacks so for the striker gear we have four of them on this build we have the backpack with core attribute weapon damage and attribute crit damage with a more crit chance we have the gloves with the core attribute armor with the attribute crit hit damage the knee pads is about the same core attribute armor and attribute crit damage and last but not least for the fourth piece we have the holster which is core attribute weapon damage and attribute crit damage so the last two gears are the chest piece and the mask so the mask we have an exotic in here so this is the coyote mask one of the best exotic in the game also and this one basically the talent on it packed instinct so basically what this talent does is it gives you crit hit chance or crit hit damage depending how far you are from the enemy that you are shooting or in some cases which is like the middle you can gain both crit hit damage and crit hit chance now the great thing about the coyote mask also is that the fact if you play on the group this will share to your allies so everybody's gonna get the same amount of buff that you gain depending which one you have active uh, how far you are from your enemy that you are shooting at now the coyote mask comes with all red attributes right so weapon damage attribute crit chance and crit damage and then i have a mod in there with crit damage so last but not least we have the chest piece and this is a group of sombra chest piece if you equip a group of sombra you gain a 15 percent crit hit damage the core attribute on this will be weapon damage and then i have an attribute crit hit chance and critical hit damage with a mod of crit chance and then also the talent obviously is my favorite talent on the chest piece obliterated pretty easy talent to activate critical hits increase total weapon damage by one percent for five seconds stacking up to 25 times which means at 25 percent weapon damage and also the good thing about the obliterated is one of the best talents to pair up with the striker because it gives you one of the most damage for the skills if you guys been following me you guys already know what's going on it's gonna be the striker drone and the holographic distraction decoy and basically i use this on heroic difficulty content and if i'm playing on legendary i go with the crusade double shield and the assault turret just because i do have a way of playing them on the legendary but whatever you want to use on the skills it's up to you Taking a look at the specialization, I did win with the gunner specialization. So quite a few things in here. So we have the first bonus in here that gives us a 10% armor on kill. We have this one that gives us a rate of fire increase by 5% for 5 seconds after a kill. And last but not least, we have the bonus in here that gives us every third reload is 50% faster. On and all, the gunner just have like great bonuses that it gives us and I like it so last but not least if you take a look at the stats of this eagle bearer on this build we have 103,000 weapon damage per bullet 
I have 44% crit chance and 159% crit hit damage. Now, the reason why I have only 44% crit chance, because keep in mind we have the Coyote Mask. And with the Coyote Mask, you do not want to have as much as crit chance, because depending on how far the enemy is from you, we're going to be getting that crit chance. And I try to keep it at that middle part, where if you get the middle part, you gain about 10% crit chance and 10% crit hit damage. So technically i could have a 54 percent crit chance and 169 percent crit hit damage and that would be the perfect spot for me that i would like to be at also we do have 85 percent headshot damage because of the eagle bearer and there's a good stats because you want to go for headshots with this weapon and last but not least we have a 21 percent health damage and this is it guys this is all i have for you guys for today let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you guys enjoyed this video i like all it would be super appreciated if you guys are new to the channel subscribe for more division to content if you want to support the channel even further join the channel become a member and uh, yeah i would appreciate that so i'll see you guys on the next video take care everybody